today we're in Sandwich, Mass, and we're on Footbridge Beach, and it's January 2017. It's a nice warm day, so here we are. Check down what we found out today. First of all, we saw a lot of big moon snails. Those are northern moon snails, and they are huge out here. These aren't even as big as some of the ones we found. So a lot of more northern moon snails, and the northern moon snails typically hunt through the sand. He goes through the sand and he hunts for other bivalves. He's a univalve, a snail. So aren't these periwinkles. And the periwinkle pretty much just hangs onto the rocks and eats the algae on the rocks. Here's some more northern moon snails. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, those colors are just gorgeous. And look what I just, just found. Looks like an oyster drill. It's another snail called an oyster drill. I don't see too many of those out here. And this one here looks like a dog well, piece of a dog well. And then the other big thing out here is a lot of blue mussels. And they're a bivalve. See, you can see these two halves still together. And this one here actually looks like a, no, um, a horse mussel, okay? So blue mussel and horse mussel. Now, it can be tough to tell them apart, but I read that if they had subterminal beaks, meaning that the beak or the point of the shell is off to the side, See, compared to the blue mussels, I believe that's another way to tell them apart. Blue mussels are a little smaller, and the horse mussels can get much bigger. So here's some beautiful blue mussels, blue mussels. See how it's tough to tell? When they're around the same size, it's a little bit more difficult. Now these look like blood arcs. Those are also bivalves, the beautiful blood arcs. Arc shells is a pretty little oyster piece, and lots of nice flipper shells. Look at how big they are. Those are really nice specimens of flipper shells. Those belong to the, also a snail. Now, I've got a strange piece of looking fish bone there. Pretty cool looking fish bone. And then this was a great find today. I found the operculum of the moon snail. Now I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to grab a moon snail so you can see. This is actually their little trap door that they use to shut off their shell. So it's on their foot, and they bring it in when they want to close off. So that's the operculum. I only have a couple of those. More um, fish bones, and then as you see, lots of pieces of crabs and, and lobsters out here. And I got a photo of a lady crab, which is really pretty. I'll post that on my blog. But for now, enjoy the view here at Sandwich Beach. 